This is Rochelle Westerbelt with election updates in your news in 90. But first, video game sales. Nintendo profits jumped 200% as Switch sales continue to rise. Nintendo Switch fever isn't going away. The company posted another round of knockout earnings, showing that a surge in demand caused by the coronavirus pandemic isn't wearing off. Nintendo sold about 12.5 million of the devices from April through September, an 81% increase over the previous year. It now expects to sell 24 million units, but competition could soon get stiff. Sony and Microsoft are both due to release new gaming consoles in the coming days, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. It's been seven years since Microsoft released the Xbox One. The last major generational upgrade to the Xbox Series is now finally here. Xbox is releasing two new consoles, the top-of-the-line Xbox Series X and a cheaper, less powerful Xbox Series. With the $500 Xbox Series X, Microsoft promises upgraded video and future-proof graphics. Microsoft claims gamers should expect performance improvements to hold up for eight or ten years. Xbox Series X has a wide selection of apps, including YouTube, Netflix, Disney+, Spotify, Showtime, and more. Vote counters worked all night in the crucial states that will decide the cliffhanger election. Two days after Election Day, the slow turn of results is expected to offer more clarity on who will lead America for the next four years and when that final result will become known. Biden currently leads. The race is coming down to tight vote and counts in Arizona, Georgia, Nevada and Pennsylvania. If the former vice president wins Pennsylvania, the race will be over. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on WUFT.org.